Mr. Wong, can I just turn to what happened in Parliament recently? Mm. You know, many people were rather surprised at the emotion you showed when you thanked uh, the people working hard to tackle the outbreak. Uh, we'll just take a look at that clip here. Words are not sufficient to express our appreciation for Mr. Speaker, words are not sufficient to express our appreciation for all of those who are... Okay. Uh, let me just rephrase that, uh, repeat what I said just now. Words are not sufficient to express our appreciation for so many Singaporeans going all out to fight the virus. And I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's doing their part. Mr Wong, was there anything in particular that moved you to tears in Parliament? Um. Well, you said many people were surprised. I was caught by, my, by surprise as well because I didn't expect the emotions to overwhelm me so strongly. And the reason it did uh, was because even as I was go delivering the speech, thinking about thanking uh, all the people who have been working on this, um, the images came to my mind of the people I've met uh, through these past weeks, uh, the doctors, nurses, the healthcare workers at NCID, in our hospitals, in our PHPC clinics, uh, all of them working so hard and making so many sacrifices. Uh, they, they all look tired, some look exhausted, but when you talk to them, they are keeping their spirits high and they are continuing to persevere. And this is just in the front line. But I've also met many people outside, this is just in the healthcare front line, but I've also met many people outside of healthcare who are also um, working extra hard um, because of the virus. You have our teachers in schools taking care of our children, the immigration, airlines, airport staff, taxi drivers. Um, we've got our public officer, uh, officers doing so many things, contact tracing, uh, working behind the scenes to arrange for housing. So. Um, just as I was going through that part of the speech, the thought and the images of all of these people came to my mind. And like I said, it took me my, by surprise too that the emotions just came and it overwhelmed me. Yeah, that's very unusual, right? Usually you're quite stoic about the whole thing. Yeah. But you know, it takes a crisis like this to seem to bring out the very best in the people. And uh, if you look at it, it's also very heartwarming yes, to indeed. know that we have people like that out there. Indeed so. And I think it's very heartwarming to see Singaporeans stepping forward and showing their appreciation too. Like just over the uh, weekend, or was it uh, there was a, a, a concerted, spontaneous effort to, show a, to, to give applause and to show appreciation to our frontline workers. And, and I, I do see more visible um, shows of and expressions of appreciation and thanks mm -hmm. to all our frontline workers. So that's truly very heartwarming. But I would say the best way, the best way that we can really show, pay tribute to them and show appreciation to them is for each one of us to uphold individual and social responsibility mm -hmm. in abiding by the advisory, the guidelines that we have put out and each one of us doing our part to help slow down the spread of the virus. So stay at home as much as you can. Um, avoid contact with others. Avoid unnecessary activities. And minimise contact with people outside of your immediate family members. Right. In other words, do our part to give them as little work as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely.